go to Chris Cuthbert. Dave Pola was shaken up early in game number two. Dave, how is the knee, and when do we expect your return? Uh, I'm not sure about when my return will be, but it's a lot better today than it was yesterday. So if there's as much improvement between Tuesday and today as there has been in the last day, maybe there's a good shot for Tuesday night. A lot of improvement in the Bruins tonight. Yeah, there really is. I think a lot of people count us out after the two losses at the Garden, but we had the best road record in the league. And ironically, we found ourselves on the road a couple of times this year. After bad stretches at home, we went on the road and really got together as a team and came back very strong. And Andy Moog has come back strong tonight as well. Now, that doesn't surprise me at all. Andy's played like that all year long, and the fact that he was going to come up big in Game 3 doesn't surprise me in the least. How are the Bruins shutting down Mark Messier? They did it with you in Game 1. How are they doing it now? I don't think you can shut him down. I mean, I really don't. He's that much of a force. But you try and take away as much of his ice in the neutral zone as you can. Try and take away the four guys with him because he uses the other people on the ice extremely well. Dave, we hope to see you in game number four. Thanks very much, Chris. Dave Pullen of the Boston Bruins. The Bruins won two road games here at the Northlands Coliseum in the regular season. They lead by two. The 1990 Stanley Cup playoffs continue in a moment.